This story starts in early 2009. There's a group of people called the Planet Hunters. What sounds like a cool name straight out of Star Trek is actually just a group of several hundred people around the world working on data collected by the Kepler Space Telescope. This group was absolutely losing it after finding something completely unexpected and equally exciting. They'd noticed a star in a galaxy far, far away. A star that looked like nothing they'd ever seen before. The star, later named KIC 8462852, was blinking in a very strange way. Hunting four planets outside the solar system is an active field of astronomy today. The first exoplanet was discovered in 1992. Now there are some 5,000 confirmed planets orbiting stars other than our own. And the number keeps increasing every year. NASA's Kepler Space Telescope alone was responsible for finding over 2,000. It did so by watching the stars in a patch of the sky for weeks, months or even years at a time. When a planet that goes around one of these stars crosses against the face of its star, it casts a small but definite shadow in the starlight. These shadows are recorded and can be used to calculate the size of the planet. The larger the planet, the more light it blocks. And this star was being consistently flagged by citizen scientists as interesting and bizarre. The star they were looking at did look like an anomaly and was totally not normal. As scientists tried their best to come up with legitimate explanations, a new theory started going around. That the star was being used as an energy source by an alien species. Orbit. Beyond the blue. Alien civilizations might re-engineer their stars to give their planets a longer lifespan. Researchers involved in the search for extraterrestrial intelligence, or SETI, have suggested many times that technologically advanced aliens might build structures we can see from Earth, such as Dyson swarms, objects surrounding a star to capture as much of its energy as possible. A few other SETI researchers have suggested that instead of just trying to harvest solar energy from their host star, really ambitious alien civilizations could, in theory, actually blow material away from the star to make it live longer. And that effort to buy the civilization another few billion years of survival might also be visible to astronomers here on Earth. Our sun is going to die someday, and it will take the entire inner solar system with it. If there's still life on Earth in five billion years, its time will have run out. But what if that future life is a technologically advanced civilization that can pool its resources and actually stop the sun from expanding? That sounds like a science fiction plot, but science fiction and actual science sometimes run very close together, especially when SETI researchers are trying to work out what evidence of a distant alien culture might look like. Stars like our Sun spend most of their lives as gargantuan thermonuclear reactors, fusing hydrogen atoms into helium atoms deep in their cores. That reaction releases tremendous amounts of energy, which pushes against the star's tremendous weight, keeping the whole thing from collapsing. But when the hydrogen runs out, so does the clock on life in the solar system. Over the years, Several researchers have suggested that an extremely advanced civilization could find ways to pull huge amounts of mass away from its host star. Removing enough mass would reduce the pressure and temperature in the star's core. That, in turn, would slow down nuclear fusion, which means the star's hydrogen fuel would last longer. But how exactly would hypothetical aliens siphon enough super-hot gas away from a star to make a difference? Nobody is drawn up a blueprint yet, of course, but one 2017 study suggested that aliens could use a big laser to boost the power of a star's stellar winds, which would make the star shed mass faster than it normally would. Others have suggested rerouting large asteroids to swoop past the star and lure away streamers of star stuff in their wake. You could use some sort of stellar excavator, which might take the form of a compact object 
that does close flybys with the star and siphons off a small amount of mass. Or you might have some sort of reflective swarm around the star, something like a Dyson sphere, which reflects some of the star's radiation back to the surface and increases the stellar wind. I'm sure there are other mechanisms that we haven't thought of. To save their planet, or at least buy it an extra couple of billion years, alien engineers would need to lift a huge amount of mass every century. But they'd need to keep it up for thousands of years, and they'd only know it worked when something very slow and subtle eventually didn't happen. As a star burns up its hydrogen fuel, it should start to get brighter, but star lifting should keep that from happening. Because this natural increase in luminosity is very slow towards the beginning of a star's life, it would take a while for an engineering civilization to notice its absence. It's hard to imagine a society sticking with a project for thousands of years, even with their survival on the line. 21st century humanity can't even seem to organize a response to our self-inflicted climate crisis. In their recent paper, Scoggins and Kipping decided to leave the details to the hypothetical aliens. They were more interested in calculating how much time such an ambitious civilization could buy itself, and how we might spot their work from afar. Regular dips in the light coming from a star could be the shadow of mass-lifting asteroids, scoops, or giant mirrors passing in front of the star, or even lifted mass, orbiting the star in clouds of gas and dust. A Dyson swarm which would cause periodic dimming of the star, similar to what was observed with Boyajian star. In that case, the biggest challenge will be telling a Dyson swarm apart from naturally occurring clouds of dust, like the ones that periodically dim Boyajian star. Astronomers' other option is to look for symptoms that a star has been tampered with, which boils down to looking for things that don't match up. For instance, when astrophysicists calculate a star's age with two different methods, such as gyrochronology, or how a star's rotation changes as it ages, and asteroseismology, or how a star's surface seems to pulse thanks to its inner structure, they might get wildly different answers for each method. If that happens, something strange is probably going on. And it might be that advanced aliens are stealing mass from their star to prolong its life. Humanity has changed dramatically in the last few thousand years, with most of that change happening in the last few hundred years. When we are imaging exoplanets thousands or millions of years more advanced than us, it doesn't seem that far-fetched. Technological considerations aside, we have to speculate, but what do I know? Beyond the Blue